Welcome back puppies to Barking Dogs Miniature Painting Video. Please like, share, and subscribe. You can follow us on Facebook and you can support us on Patreon. Today we're going to be working on some gray skin tones with just a little hint of blue in them. And that's Vallejo Gray Blue 5008 for people who look up colors by their numbers. And here we have Somber Gray which is just a little bit blue and not quite as dark as the blue gray that you saw before. And then cold gray will be our highlight. Mix with some airbrush thinner. Here we're establishing the base coat. He's already been Zenith all primed. Just make sure we get up in those recesses and all the little nooks and crannies on the model. And that is just the straight blue gray that we're using there. Here we've got a mix of our somber gray, um, probably like I think it was a, like a four to one ratio of the somber gray to the cold gray, just to start to bring it up using that kind of as a mid tone. Here we're going with. really spraying kind of top down on the model, starting to establish our highlights. Here we're going again with just a pure cold gray. We're going to kind of go over and reinforce some of these highlights. Because of the thin coat from the airbrush application, there's still a little bit more of the somber gray and cold gray mixed together. So here with just a straight cold gray, we're just kind of kicking it up a notch. And this part of the video has been sped up a little bit. Some of those muscles uh, are already starting to stick out a little bit more. I really like the way the gray skin skin tones turned out on this guy. It was a nice variant. I think it'll be a nice addition to the skin tone series of videos. Because these same techniques you could apply to other monsters and other types of creatures. Here we're going to be mixing in some vampiric skin. It's not quite a 50-50 ratio, but pretty close to it. Um, the color is going to be significantly brighter, but then later on, towards the end, you'll see me come back in with just a very thin down version of the cold gray and use that to blend the highlights uh, in better to kind of smooth out the transitions. Also here for the application of the highlights, I'm not covering quite as broad of an area on the muscles as I was before. And I'm not sure if I've been pointing it out in the other videos in this series. Um, if you've sat down or, or taken the time to kind of go through the, the whole series, you know, over the course of a week or, or what have you, you know, in the future once the series uh, it's finished because I still have a few more of these uh, demon kin that'll be uh, put in the series. I got a couple more colors I'm going to present. Uh, 
that, that's fine. It's not necessarily meant for you to sit down and kind of watch necessarily everything. But just if you're looking for a different skin tone, you've got a tiefling or some other similar creature, and you don't necessarily want to give it like human colored skin. These videos are kind of meant to stand alone, but also kind of work in conjunction. So if you are going through a mall, you kind of see how the techniques really just the same. You're just kind of working with different colors and really mixing the ratio to what's kind of pleasing for you. But the main thing is um, the whole technique of you know kind of establishing or blocking in the colors with the airbrush, uh, including the shadows and the highlights. And then coming back and taking those highlights up to say an 11 and then knocking them back down to like a 10 or a 9 and then working them back up to where we want them to be. Now there are other processes such as wet blending to get those transitions which is really the goal here is trying to get really nice transitions. Uh, wet blending takes a lot longer. It's a good skill to master. It's definitely one that I need to be working on some more. But this is a good time saver. And if you're just trying to get your model painted, get it on the table, and you want it to look really good, look like you put some time into it, but you're only wanting to take a few hours versus six hours or ten hours, this is a good approach. see there now as I'm starting to get back into some of the, the recesses like when I started painting his lower back a moment ago that's me coming in with that thinned down version of the gray bringing back all those really la la loud excuse me those loud highlights and bringing them back down to a smoother transition transition and just smoothing everything out trying to make it look more natural There you go, there's our gray skin tone. Go back in and just bring out a few of his facial features and his forehead, or five head as the case may be. Here we have the final model. If you like the work you saw in this video, please like, share, and subscribe. I'm available for commissions at facebook.com, Barking Dogs Miniature Painting. You can also find us on Patreon at patreon.com forward slash Barking Dog Studio. Patreon members get discounts on commissions and credit at the end of videos. Special thanks to the Clarks for their continued support. Bark on, puppies.